Hi, I'm Ben Rowe, and in this video I'll be talking about wireframes, what they are, the different types of wireframes that you can create, and some practical advice about how to improve your wireframes. But first things first, what is a wireframe? Well a wireframe is like an architect's drawing. It's a draft visual representation of your user interface. And you can use wireframes to communicate four things. The structure of your navigation and information architecture. The layout, including page hierarchy and the placement of elements on the screen. The content. Wireframes give content writers an idea of how their content will be placed within the design. And the functionality. Wireframes can describe how your product will work and how it interacts with the people using it. Wireframes are an indispensable tool in any UX designer's toolkit and they come in handy in many situations. They can be created at varying levels of fidelity and this is what makes them so powerful. At the low fidelity end, you have the hand-drawn sketch. Sketches are a great way to flesh out ideas on your own or with your team. They're fast to create and quick to iterate on. And it doesn't matter if you're not great at sketching, anyone who can draw a square, a circle and a triangle is perfectly capable of creating a sketch. Next, we have the more traditional wireframe. Now there are literally hundreds of tools that we can use to create these, but Balsamic, OmniGraffle, Illustrator and UXPin are just some of these. Wireframes like this allow you to communicate your idea to your team, your clients and your stakeholders. They can be very useful to explain your product and exactly what you're building. At the high fidelity end of the spectrum, a clickable prototype lets you design interactions and user flow. Clickable prototypes are the way to go when conducting usability testing. You could use Exua, Keynote, or even create wireframes directly into the browser using HTML with the help of frameworks such as Bootstrap or Foundation. Sometimes a quick sketch is all you need. Other times, an annotated wireframe is more appropriate. It really depends on the project and the stage you're at. Your wireframe should convey just the right amount of detail and no more. So here are a few practical tips to keep in mind when you're wireframing. 1. Keep them simple. The key to wireframing is speed and simplicity. We'll ultimately throw our wireframes out, so in most cases they don't need to be highly polished or pixel perfect. 2. Use a grid. Grids create structure and simplicity to your layouts. Every decent website these days is built on a grid, so make sure you are using one in your wireframes too. 3. Use short, sharp annotations. Unlike a 50-page functional spec doc, team members actually read wireframes more than any other document, so make sure you keep adding some annotations to your wireframes. Don't go overboard though, keep them brief and to the point. And 4. Encourage feedback. Sharing your wireframes and encouraging feedback from your team members is a surefire way to improve them. So stick your wireframes up on the nearest wall and encourage your team and anyone else to give you feedback. As you can see, wireframes can be easy to create, but it does take some experience to understand when and how to get the most out of them. As with most things, practice makes perfect.